Hey guys, welcome to Shred 2, week 2, and this week we got a treat for you. It's no repeat. So it's going to be 30 minutes long, 30 exercises with no repeats. What we're going to need for this, guys, is a selection of dumbbells. Heavy, moderate, and light. And have them all on standby, because we're going to be chopping and changing where appropriate. What we're going to do is 40 seconds of each exercise, and then 20 seconds in between so you can see what's coming next. Okay, we're going to start with the plyometric or compound maneuver. Then we go on to a chest one, then we go on to a bicep one. And we do that until we have 30 exercises done. So, have your dumbbells ready? Grab a drink. Let's do this. Up next, we get a burpee and a snatch and a single arm press. And then we alternate on to the other side. Up next guys, standard push up. So engage the core, keep the buttocks spread, keep the head up in line with the spine. And remember if these are too much for you, drop to your knees and do box push ups. Up next, we got double arm bicep curls. Keep those elbows in tight to the ribs. Start with the arm straight, flex those biceps. Don't bring it right up to your shoulder and then fully extend the arm. Up next guys, we got star jumps, so squat down low, keep the eyes looking forward, touch the ankles and launch up. Up next we got chest flies, so keep those arms relatively straight with a slight bend in the elbow, but don't bend the elbow any more than it already is. Lower them down, bring them in for a tight squeeze at the top.
Up next, we got hammer curls, so let's turn those dumbbells, heads facing forward, bring them up. Again, don't touch the shoulders and fully straighten the arms. Up next we got squat presses, so we're going to rack those dumbbells up on the collarbones, squat down nice and deep, keeping the eyes looking forward, and press straight up. Up next we got a pinch press, so what we're going to do is take the handle of the dumbbell between the palms, make sure the thumb is over the handle rather than tucked underneath, squeeze those pecs and bring it up. Up next we've got our ISO bicep curl, so we're going to keep the arms flexed, lower one down, bring it up, then lower the other one down, but keep those biceps flexed at all times. Up next we've got our mountain climbers, we're in the push up position, hands directly underneath the shoulder, core engaged, head in line with the spine, go at your own pace.
Up next we've got the uneven push-ups with the right, so we're going to bring the right hand forward, left hand down by the side, lower the chest down towards the floor and press back up. Now we're on to the bent over bicep curls. So tilt from the hips, soft knees, keep the core engaged and the back flat. From the shoulder to the elbow, don't move and curl those dumbbells up to your temples. Up next we got our alternate wood chop, so we take one dumbbell, squat down the middle, shift to the right and extend up to diagonally left, then we go back down the middle, over to the left and up diagonally right. Now we got a crossover, so keep those arms nice and straight, flex those pecs, bring the arm across the chest and squeeze the pecs hard and alternate onto the other side. Up next we've got a wide grip curl, so keep the elbow strapped into the ribs, bring the arms out to the side, raise them up into flex position and fully extend.
Up next, we got our alternate starter sprint. So, down in position, fingertips on the ground, front knee bent, other leg extended, launch up and swap sides. Up next, we've got our uneven push-ups on the left side, so left arm stretch out front, right arm down by the side, lower the chest to the floor, and repeat. Up next, we've got a double arm bicep curl, but at the top, we're going to rotate the dumbbells so the nails are pointing down and lower them down and repeat. Up next, we got our ski squat, so you want to take the dumbbells in the hammer curl position. As we squat down, we're going to fully extend the arms upwards and repeat. Up next we got our low fly, so get the dumbbells in hand, nails pointing forward, and we're going to bring those in to meet in the middle, squeezing those pecs together.
Up next we got reverse curl, so it's like a standard double arm bicep curl, only we have the nails facing the other way. We curl up and lower them down. Up next we got side shuffle toe tap and we're going to go as fast as we can, shuffle over three to four steps, touch the opposite foot and repeat on the other side. Up next we got a chest press squeeze, so we're going to do a chest press from the back, only at the top we're going to turn it into a fly to get more contraction on the pecs. Up next we got a standing concentration curl on the left side. Keep the back flat, keep from the shoulder to the elbow perfectly still and curl that dumbbell up towards your head. Up next we got battle bells, so we're going to replicate the battle ropes here, we're going to tilt from the hips, keep the back flat and we're going to do like a drum roll with those dumbbells in hand.
Up next, we got a pack squeeze raise. So we take the pinch grip position, thumbs over handles, and we squeeze those packs as we raise the dumbbell up and lower it back down. Stand in concentration, curl on the right, tilt from the hips, shoulder to elbow, don't move, and curl that dumbbell up towards the side of your head. Up next is squat jumps, we squat down nice and deep, we launch, we land, we squat again and repeat. Up next, we're going to pause push-up, so standard push-up, but at the bottom, about an inch from the floor, we're going to hold for a couple of seconds before we push back up. Up next we got our hammer curl with rotation. So we got hammer curl it up, we rotate the rest at the top and return them back down to starting position.
Well done, guys. I hope you all got the pump on. I hope you all got the sweat on. I hope you're all out of breath. Join us again tomorrow. We got more of the same. No repeat workouts.